What's up guys, so I'm really sorry for not uploading that much recently, especially as I uploaded the intro competition, uh, which I'll get round to uh, speaking about in a minute. So um, for this video, uh, I actually played it a few days ago, um, but it was against Lee as a team, he helped me up, uh, he helped me out, so check out his channel, uh, the link will be in the description as, and in the comments as usual. Um, so basically what we did was, uh, we went with the mortar and the dartling gun. And surprisingly, it went really well. So in the first one, we both went with the Dartling Mortar farm strategy. And in the next game, he went with um, a normal strategy. And I went with the, uh, the Dartling Mortar strategy. So there are a few problems with this strategy. But overall, it's pretty good. So the first problem is you have to micro it. And let's say if you're trying to micro the mortar ability, you have to aim the Dartling Gunners as well. And that's impossible. Secondly, when you're collecting bananas from your farm, well, it's hard to micro the dartling gun. Uh, well, yeah, it's really hard to micro the dartling gun. So yeah, that's definitely a problem with this strategy. But uh, otherwise, it's actually pretty good. Um, I was very surprised. Uh, Super John Bombo has been doing a few videos on the dartling gunner recently. And it, it, it is a pretty good tower now it's been buffed. Um, it wasn't a big buff. Uh, but it has made some difference. So as you can see, the laser cannon can completely annihilate anything really, up until a mob class balloons, of course. And that's another problem with the dartling gun strategy. Um, it's really hard to defend moabs, and as you can see there, he dies. Uh, he didn't micro it very well, uh, but that's not really his fault because he's never. He said he never really uses the dartling gun anyway, so that's kind of understandable. So let's talk about the intro competition for a bit. So I actually got a late entry uh, and someone else is making me another one as well. And you guys voted for the second one, uh, but lots of you don't like the second one. And the third one was a bit of a joke and you um, you voted for that one as well. So I'm not really sure what to do. Um, I think I'm going to feature them all in different videos. Uh, I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, but I think I'm going to choose the one that I feel is the best one. Because I don't think, well, someone sent me a one uh, recently, which I'll feature in this video, and I think it's really, really good. And um, Riley T, uh, if you know his channel, he said he'd make me one, uh, so big shout out to him, that's really kind of him. So in this game, as I said, um, I went with the Dartling Gun strategy, and he went with a normalish strategy. Well, a normalish strategy on patch, because patch you can go lots of different strategies on. So we went on pretty long maps. I mean, the first one, Racetrack, is a long map. This one's a very long map because you wouldn't really be able to farm very well uh, with this strategy. So I think this is a good strategy for longish maps if you're trying to kill them early. So I don't think it's, I think it's a good strategy, but not the best. And I'll definitely be using it for some of my videos because I, I like it a lot, um, but I don't think it's, too viable. I mean, it's a good strategy, but I don't think it's completely viable. You can keep up on farms, however, because you can see I have like four farms up, and that's that's quite good. Um, so you can definitely farm very well with this, but the problem is you have to micro, and if you've got a good fourth tower, say Ninja, then it'd be fine. It's just, as you'll see later on in the game, uh, ZMG popping power is low. So yeah, thanks for watching this video. I really appreciate if you like my videos. It helps a lot, especially as someone uh, keeps disliking them, like putting 10 dislikes on my videos, which kind of sucks. Um, but yeah, so thanks for watching this video, and uh, see you in the next one.
I am happy. 